Hello and welcome. We are back. No Man's Land. This is episode number four. So, I think we just forgot to skip ahead to the next day, I believe. I'm going to go out and just double check. So we are waiting for our bales to ferment so that we can haul them in. Yeah, we only 4%, so we definitely didn't sleep overnight yet. And we, last episode, we finished getting this ready for seeding that little field. Finished up back here, all our mowing, windrowing, and uh, yeah, now we're just getting into that season where. There's not going to be as much to do for right now, so we will sleep till 9, 9 a.m. tomorrow. And we're back. Awake. We should go and... Uh, Make a little breakfast in the kitchen, a little bit of eggs, something like that. <laughs> what the heck? Now I can't get out of my house. There we go. Well, let's take a little cruise over here. See how long we have until they are fermented. The way they were fermenting, I was thinking... It was going to be done today, maybe, actually, so. Oh, no. Looks like it'll still probably be tomorrow. So, one more day. So. I think because of that, we will go pick up our pickup truck over here. get it out of the way and I thought maybe this episode we can spend a little bit of time cruising around and just seeing if we can find any areas where alien Jim would have hid all the little extras and see if we can make a little money today off of those I have no idea where he's he could have hit him. I wonder if he has hit him on our farm at all. Maybe I'll start there. I don't see anything over here. I have not looked in the house yet. Check out here in the barn. Just a flower behind our combine. We get through here. Don't see anything. Hmm. It's got to have most of them put together, too, I'm thinking, because... With so little space to actually put them down here. Oh, we forgot to check in the house here. Check on the outside here quick first. Don't see anything. Yeah, with so little space to actually get it put down. Or hide them. See anything. I just don't know. Oh, oh, no, just boxes. I think. Yeah, I don't know how he's hid them. Nothing in here at all. 
Okay, I wonder if there's anything on the way to the other farm that's kind of started on this map. One with the grapes. Quick look around here. See anything up top there? On the island there, maybe. Tricksy little place to put it. Oh, because of the TV in there, I'm pretty sure that it's going to be the video games that are hidden map for nothing yeah I have not actually looked into it I thought it'd be f nice fun little surprise and to actually search for them I just used a map on the original map there on the Elm Creek and found them all pretty easy that way but I thought it would be a nice challenge to actually look for them for once funny little rock statue almost over here nothing on there Somewhere over here, oh, there's, over here, I think. We'll go look in the barn on this farm over here. Maybe there's something here. I've not actually made it to doing grapes in this game, so I think I might do it on this map. I might buy this when we get a little bit of money, enough to buy all the equipment. So, so far, there is thing. See anything in the middle? Can you get up top somehow? See anything on this side? Probably pull the truck up and get it stopped and uh, climb up there, but I don't see anything. Truck. There it is. Wonder if he's hitting them in forests or something. Which ones would he have hidden them in? see if there's any other little structures. I don't remember anything on the map tour, but... A little one over here I see on the mini-map. It's just the rocks. Don't see them. Nothing. Oops. Come on. Let's get back on all fours. There we go. out of room. There's got to be one maybe on the building over here. Store or on the uh, 
animal dealer. Anything on here? Don't see anything on there. Nothing on top there. Oh, wait a minute. I think we found them. They're all along the roof. Okay. <laughs> that looks like they're all there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, that looks to be about right. So I think there's 20 hidden collectibles on this map. Um, can we get up there easy? Can't get up there with the pickup. We are going to probably need a zoom boom for this one. How much money do I have? Do I have enough to rent one, I guess? Because we're going to make that back right... Oh, go over here. To buy it. Rent it. And there they are, the telehandlers. Go for a nice big one. Um... Pretty sure the JCB is pretty big and will reach, so I haven't used any JCB equipment in this game for a while, so I think we will lease this one. 5,000. Ooh. Okay, well, we'll do it because, you know, if it means making some money. Back it up just a little bit, then we'll be able to get up there, no problem. Get onto that roof from there, I think. Come on, come on, oh, come on. Oh, there we go. Okay, collect. Collect. Get off my field. Plow and golf. Ultimate tomato game cartridge. Okay. I've never read all these. Space cultivator. Trap cock game. Crop, I should say. Agra pinball DX. Okay. Mechanized, mechanized agricultural game. Wheat Gobbler. Caverns of Underelm. Road Race. Ratooning Game. Okay, that's a different name. <laughs> Pasture Sovereign. Hypercropping. Quest for the Emerald Duck. Farm Crisis 3. The vertical farming game. Interesting. Tractor transport service. Tractor turbo challenge. Heart lifter. Congrats, we found all cartridges. Okay. Made ourselves our nice million. What was the last game name though? Miss that. Go down here. What a perfect height that is. Whee! And we will go and we will just return this right away. And we don't have to worry about it. So we'll return. Yes. Okay. Oh, yeah. We leased the stone picker. I forgot about that. Well, there we go.
Well, that wasn't as hard as I was thinking it was going to be. Almost too easy. Now we will head back to the farm. Maybe we'll buy ourselves a pressure washer. We could definitely do that. All over the place. Okay, we are great here. And we'll go into buy mode. We will buy ourselves a nice pressure washer. Oh, we gotta go to tools. That's where it is. We want that one or the mod still. I think we will buy the still. Put it over here by our workshop. Get it like that, maybe. There we go. I think we would buy ourselves a horse pasture too. We want a large one, or do we want just a medium horse barn, regular, or just the pasture? That's a hefty step up though. Just for water. We have water right over here, so I think what we could do this is a nice area actually for a nice horse pasture. Put the rock in the middle of our horse pasture. <laughs> Do it like that. Take up a lot of space from our horses, but I think we'll put it right here. Just get the rock in a bit. Yeah, put a horse pasture down. Now we don't have anything to feed the horses right now, do we? Oh no, we do have some hay. So, we can get some horses. What we should do, don't think we, it's worth it to buy a trailer to all the horses. So I think we're just gonna buy them from here. We also have the water tower for some reason, but I'm not gonna pay for water when I can just back a trailer in. So we shall get five horses. I think we'll get one gray. is only 300 for five yeah our, our trailer's gonna cost a lot more than that so for now we don't need it purchase one gray oh exit it out one black yeah uh we'll get a brown seal brown One cow looking one. And maybe one of those ones. That one looks nice. Well, this one also does look nice too. We'll do this one. Doesn't really matter too much, I guess, does it? And we will go back. With that, I'm just going to have to pause my recording for a second. Um, just have to go deal with something real quick here. I'll be right back.
So here we are back. Sorry about that. My youngest son had woken up. He was down for a nap. And we were going to get some hay over. Okay. Guess. We will need to get the bale loader. Because I don't have forks or anything for this. leave that behind don't need it on there so park the bail loader over here there we go pick up a couple bales could do actually is look what's on sale nothing major okay thought maybe there'd be a tractor or something that we could put some forks on and pick up bales with it so the best way to get at this is See if we can do it. Nope, not quite. I thought maybe it'd pick up that bale. Oh, come on. <laughs> there we go. There we go. We got one on. That should be enough for right now. I think. We should try to get another one, maybe. I know what I'm going to do. I'll just do it like this. We'll unhook from this trailer. We will get hooked up to the bales. Baler. We'll just move the baler over. And then back it in here. Oop. There we go. Good spot. And then we'll back that in and we can pick them up. That'll work. Three should be good enough. Might get us through the winter or something. We'll see. Mm. Oh, took it a little too sharp. Getting ourselves stuck. Oh, come on. There we go. Oh, let's see what the best way to get at this is. Jackknife it in there this way. I think I might be able to. Unload them there and they'll go in. 
And then we'll go pick up a water trailer. There we go. How much do they take? Okay, they take 7,000 liters. Okay. 39% effective. That's it. We will park this here and then we'll go get our water trailer. There we go. I will see you guys when I get the water trailer and I'll be filling it up. Here we are back. Um, there seems to be one little issue with this. I can't fill up. I'm in the water with the spout even. I can't fill the trailer up. I guess we will have to buy our water from here. Maybe? Um... What is going on? Open water valve. Okay, we have to open that up. But still, why can't I fill it out of the water? Um, oh, I can start filling now, but I'm going to try this once more just to see if that's what caused the issue. I don't think so. Nope. Still can't fill out of there. Well, I guess I have to fill out of my water up here. There we go. Look at those beautiful horses. Guess we'll have to take them for a ride too now. Every day. Get them their exercise and... Thought it'd be something different to do the horses in this game, because I only did them when they first came out. And, uh, I never really touched them since. I didn't find them as interesting, but... What I hear, they're very profitable. If you give them the time. It takes a couple years, I guess, for them to reach full maturity and health and then they're worth a lot of money ideally I will do get to cattle on here I think might do some chickens so okay they don't take much water at all um, I think I'm gonna move it out of the way a little better get nice and close I'm not sure what it's got on. A little bit of collision, I guess. Whatever. That'll work. We will leave it there like that. And then we will go... Fix up our tractor. Pressure wash it since we got a nice new pressure washer. We haven't tested it out yet. Wash, wash, wash. 
get her all nice and clean and pretty. See what this baby looks like underneath. Look at that. She's still beautiful. Looks brand new. I think that's clean. And we will go and... We'll repair it. 3500 bucks to repair it. Wow. Again. That goes down quick. We're going to have to buy a new tractor, I think, here soon. There we go. We will do it, though. Cost more than... Oop. Okay. Well, I don't want to grab that. I just want to close the door. It's not working. There we go. So, what was I going to do now? Oh yeah, I was going to go and ride the horses. How could I forget? I have not done horses in this game at all yet in 22, so... We'll get on clips. We'll go for a little ride. Jump over the fence. Go for a little ride in the trees. That's the edge of our map. Or our... Not the map, but our... Uh, land, I should say. Not coming out, out of my mouth very well. Oh, yeah, we can get to chopping down trees in the winter, I think, too. That would be a good job. Get a little forestry in. I don't think we'll go all out on the equipment. We'll just use a chainsaw and a stump grinder and, and a trailer. Probably get a loader. Just to help load him up on the trailer, but. This goes much faster than it did in FS19, though. Tell you that much. We're already at 62%, 63, 64. Nice. The faster you go, the quicker it goes. By the looks of it. 69, 70, yeah. It does go a little faster when you do go faster. That's a good thing. I think that was probably one of the worst parts about FS19 is just how much you actually had to ride them. I know there's a mod that came out that uh, you didn't actually have to ride them in the end. You had a hired helper that did it for you, but... You can go right through the water. Look at that. Well... Ooh, crash into a tree. There we go. We will go. Take this one back. and We will switch. Get them all red today. And I will just see you guys all when I've gotten them all. To 100%. Here we are back, and we are done riding all the horses, and we got to, oh, there we go, clean, clean, clean. I got this one done already. Mm, just this one left. Oh man, one thing I had difficulty on, I got it right now, it's okay to ride it, but coming up to them, now I'm having no issues, weird, but I had it where, as I came up to them, I never got the thing to ride. Took a little while, took a few tries, 
so kind of a little odd but yeah we will go to bed for the night then we will see you in the morning and we'll see how the bales are doing i think that's all we're doing for today so there's our glorious game consoles one two three four five times four is 20. so get to see what they all are that one that one that one <laughs> oh that one makes me laugh a little crisis okay very interesting that is a cool little feature <laughs> there's an idea for a pinball machine <laughs> nice work and we're back to the sonic page well let's go have ourselves a little sleep well, that was a different noise i have never heard that noise no man's land Oh, I just realized that there's a light switch in here. Nice. Well, we will take a little walk and see how far along this is. Should be pretty close. They are not stating anything. Which I believe... Oh, down in the bottom fermenting. Oh, I'm looking at the wrong spot. 96, 97, 98, 97, 95. Okay. I think if we take all of our horses for a ride again today. See, I'm getting the prompt to get on. There we go. We will take them all for a ride. I'm going to see if there's different distance now that they go. I uh, took a little ride out yesterday. I know how far. I hit 50% and turned around, came back. We'll see if we hit 50% same spot or not. Kind of curious. I'll do that every day with one of them and uh, see if it's the same spot or if it changes as they get in shape, I guess, or what have you. Or if you got to take them for longer rides as they get more in shape, who knows? It's looking like it'll be exactly the same spot here. Yep. Right here. And I took them back. And they are back to 100% exactly as I came in. So good to know. I take a little different route every time though so far with them every one of them just kind of went for around the lake and around the trees and took another one all the way just about to the grapevines there in that other field yeah just different random places but i will see you when i'm done riding all of them and have them all cleaned and then we should be able to haul in all of our silage bales. See what we made. <laughs> Guys, here we are. We're back. Cleaning the last two horses here. 
And they've all been ridden to 100% today. So we still have. Okay. What I found out riding the horses, I was just curious, so I decided to take one out the same direction and uh, just to see. Oops, that was a little off. But I uh, just took it out on a slower speed to see if it made a difference in distance. Obviously, it took a lot longer to get there. To get up to 100% riding, too, going slower speeds. We've seen that, that it goes faster. But yeah, I was curious if the distance is any different. And it's, it turns out you don't have to go nearly as far. Just a walk, and I probably did maybe three quarters of the way distance wise. And then I turned around and obviously ran it all the way back. And yeah, I was only at about 80% when I got back. Still had to take it a little bit farther. There we go. I should just get a little bit closer. Wouldn't have to worry about that right there. Yeah. I found that a little interesting. I'm not sure if any of you do, but yeah, it was interesting to me anyway. So we'll get these all loaded up. See what kind of money we can get from them. Not that we really need the money right now, actually, so maybe I should look at prices. I'll get them loaded up anyways, because I don't think I need the bale trailer, and I've already got them partially loaded, so But we'll see what prices are the best. What month? There we go. Oh, they are increasing in price pretty quickly, actually. What were they when we bought them? I can't remember now. I would have to look back at it. I'll probably put up the price on the screen here, but yeah. That'll be how much they've increased in one, well, two ridings, but one day. There we go. Um, oh, no, that's the wrong one. We need to silage. So price fluctuations. January is saying the best time. Okay, so we might hold on to these for a few more months. 316. I wonder what a good price is. I know I had a paper that I printed out at one point, but now that they've updated the game, I no longer have that. So maybe I will just look it up on my phone. forward a bit oh we are full okay we just hop out of the tractor I'm gonna look up silage prices quick here and I'll let you guys know and maybe I'll put a link to it in the description below of the prices if I do find one here Good silage price on medium. I believe that's what I have the settings at. I am going to double check that here. And change it if I'm not because, oh yeah, normal difficulty. Perfect. So yeah, that's what I want to be running at. So. Now it's from November.
Well. Does not look I see anything on here. I will try this one though. Just to see maybe it is updated. Oh, average sell price is V2, so version 2. Okay. New post about it here. Okay, there we go. Finding it. So. Okay. Just hold on here. I will pull it up on my computer. And I will put a link in the description for you guys here. But I did find one, so that's awesome. You can change settings, you have to download it. And you have to make it editable. Normal. Difficulty. You can change your difficulty. You can show yield and everything. Okay, this is actually a really nice one. So, January, February, it's saying on this that it's good to sell that. And the best price that they got was 427 Good was 406 And average was 308 eight so we were at what were we at here um 316 so we're a little bit low we're just above average so we will wait a couple months to sell it so we will cut off right there i think guys and i guess we will see you the next episode I'm hoping to record a bunch and all on the same day here so we'll just sleep till the next day because we don't need to be up but yeah well but yeah I will try to record a bunch of episodes in the same day so that I can upload a little more often I just heard word that our kids here are going to be, it looks like it's snowing already. No, oh, it is December, I guess. That would make sense. But yeah, I just heard that our kids are going to be extended Christmas holidays due to COVID and the Omicron variant starting to take over, which... It's going to be a little bit frustrating as I don't get a whole lot done. Don't get a whole lot of my own schoolwork done when they're around, so. Yeah. I will see how the animals are doing. See if they need some water first. Oh, they don't go through water very quick. Lots of food, obviously, because the bales are still here. They don't use a whole lot of them every day, so. I think next episode, we will get, we'll see how much money we have after, but we will be buying, maybe buying some forestry stuff to work at through the winter here. We are in December. I'm just going to look to finish off this episode. See how much the price of silage has gone up. 336. Okay, that's not too bad. That's going up. Well, it says it's going down, actually. So, uh, Okay, well, it goes down a touch between November and December, but it's supposed to pick up, according to that. So... Yeah, we will fold that up. We'll unhook it for now. Next episode, we will be going down, picking up some forestry equipment, I think. It, uh, we'll start cutting down some trees. 
think all we'll do right now just get them cut up I am not sure if we will use the um, oh what do you call the forestry the big machine the scorpion king I think is what it's called um, yeah we could lease one of those and we would plow through those trees real quick and they'd be cut to a nice length so we might do that but we will see next episode we'll see how much it costs till next time have a wonderful day guys and uh happy new year to you <laughs>